Alright, so I want to share a tip on keeping one in the chamber in a 1911, but not having the hammer cocked. So as most of you know, when you load a round into the chamber, it automatically pushes the hammer back. But some people think if there's a round in the chamber, the, even having the safety on in this uh, configuration, it's still not very safe. So some people release the hammer and they will hold, carry it like that. So that might not be the safest way, but with this, uh, there's multiple uh, levels of cocking that you can do to make it safer. So why don't we put a dummy round in the magazine. Okay, so we have a dummy round here. And we put one in the chamber. Okay, so see, it would be loaded. Um, we got a dummy round in the chamber, so I'm going to release the hammer, pull the trigger slowly, pretending it's a live round, and see, now you have it uh, one in the chamber and uncocked. But since the hammer is right up against the firing pin, some say, well, if it gets bumped or you drop it or something, since the firing pin is right up against the bullet, it could discharge. But there's a feature on the gun where you can cock it like that. I don't know if they call it half cocking. It's not even close to halfway. This is like halfway, but it's like a smidge cocked, so it's not up against the firing pin. And you can't fire it. You, or it the hammer won't move in this position. See? It needs to be all the way back. I'm just going to fire it on this dummy round. It needs to be all the way back to fire. So, that's a good way to uh, carry the 1911 if you want one in the chamber, but you don't want it um, the hammer back. So again, one in the chamber, just do a slight cock like that. And it can't fire, and um, even if it could, even if it could fire from this, from this uh, point of um, the hammer being back, this little smidge, it probably doesn't even have enough energy to strike the bullet uh, with the force it needs to discharge. So, um, actually, there's multiple ways to get it to this point. If you pull it all the way back, pull the trigger, let it go. Oh, no, I wouldn't let it go too far. Okay, trigger's back pull the trigger and release it now keep it halfway release the trigger and it will stop at that little smidge cocked point or if you don't feel like doing that you can do it all the way you can do it all the way down then release the trigger then do a smidge cock see 